Hey guys, Dark Repair bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing today's morning in the north, we have Simmons playing as human. Got the Archmage first. And from the south, we have PCG123 playing as undead. Gone for the Death Knight. Looks like it's going to be a ghoul's start. Map is Tidehunters. Just a uh, ladder match this one. I'm not actually too familiar with Simmons, a Korean player. So curious to see what he gets up to. Scout Acolyte about to fall. The player's forces are under will it be attack. the footy or will it be the creeps securing the last hit? And the creeps. An aggressive spot here for PCG to do a touch of creeping. Looking to harass the expansion camp. Here they come. Level 2. Swarming in now. Focus fire on the AM. Hasn't got help with the slow, but not getting focused down actually. That militia is going to run away. So far, pretty smooth from Simmons, has to be said. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's mounted a rather effective defense, but here come a bunch more ghouls. We've got some skellies down here as well. Okay. Got a shot coming up. No tech from Simmons, so maybe going to try to commit to this expansion. Chases the ghoul all the way to the expo camp on the other side. One footy going down. That's the level up on the Death Knight. That's bad news for Simmons. Gonna make it harder to chase these ghouls down with the AM. AM has picked up boots though, so maybe it's not so hard. Strong right clicks. A player's forces are under attack. Get some low, but no kills. Death Knight still has enough for one coil anyway. Uh, I suppose, you know, he wants to make PCG spend it. No tech still, so it's got to be an expansion. Where's all this gold going? He's got a, he's got a lot of footmen. But he's got he's got the militia here, but he can't start the expo. He's, he's really hitting for resources. The player's forces are under attack. A bit more creeping in the meantime. Here comes a fresh line of ghouls. Well, the wounded ones back on the blight healing. Okay, a bit of an intercept here. Gets one ghoul low. Boots on the AM, helping things out quite a bit. One tower down now, starting the expansion. This is so slow, though. Here comes a wave of footies. Alright. Just runs past them with that unholy aura. And I am quite far off at the moment. Not level 3 yet either. There you go, one peasant down. And dropping like flies to all this normal damage. So they kind of uh, box themselves in here. So quite a few of them likely to fall. Simmons can keep this around going. He's lost a lot of peasants in the process though. And there's going to be a town portal out. Eagles down off oh, as they take down another peasant on the exit. At least level 3 on the AM. Those level 2 water elementals so much stronger. That was very painful. Is an interesting farm position. Is that going to get in the mining line? Hmm. A bit of creeping here. A player's forces in are under attack. Comes Simmons. Going to harass the slaughterhouse, getting the cancel, it looks like. Straight tech up to tier 3 for PCG. So, a bit weak at this stage before the Lich comes out. Nice surround there, though, on the water elemental coil off a footy. Nice counter surround, though, on the ghoul. 
But here's the Lich, tries to deny the water elemental coil, sniping off yet another peasant. A player's forces are under attack. Ooh. Okay, well, there we go. Simmons on the run. Oh, another coil. No, not even necessary. Just the, the Nova. The yeah, overstay is welcome a little bit. Maybe he wants to come back in and try and cancel the slaughterhouse again. Transitioning over to Fiends now as PCG. Coming in here for a couple right clicks. Two more elementals. Might actually be able to get the job done. The ghouls mobilizing. Really wants the slaughterhouse to complete. Surrounds the water elemental. It's going to be close. But the water elemental I think is dying just a touch too fast. So the slaughterhouse will stand. Decent idea, though. Forces are under attack. Well, bit of uh, creeping on the other side. Loses a, a peasant, though, and could lose another one here, Simmons. Okay. Oh, what? The aggro on the rock gun switched and then switched again. Oh, no. That's a bit messy. Oh, no, no, another peasant. Three peasants. A player's forces oh, are under attack. No. Oh. <laughs> what the hell, man? I can maybe understand the first one, but the second two, that was terrible. Really just unacceptable losses. Okay, well he's just about at tier two. What's this second hero going to be? Attack. I feel like we have seen a little bit of panda lately. That's done dead. Little frenzy ticking up. Here come the peasants. Gonna hit... I mean the footies rather. Gonna hit just before the ghoul frenzy. I don't know if this is going to be very successful. Now the frenzy is complete. Players forces are under attack. Take it out with the uh, footies and uh, going to do so successfully. Still got a lot of footmen. And what's the second hero? He's not doing anything at the altar, so it so looks like it's going to be a tav tavern buy, but can't really get to the tavern at the moment. Takes a nova coil. Has to run away. Quite a bit of health though with a that belt of giant strength. Under attack. So PCG decides not to chase. Oh, he's going for the Mountain King. He had lumber to start that earlier, right? A few uh, inefficiencies here for Simmons. And now a Pit Lord third. Classic for the old uh, tower push. Big rain of fire there, out of range of the arcane tower as well. Used to be, you know, attack. the most popular pick by far, but then they reduced the range on uh, the firestorm. Rain of fire. And, uh, okay, there go. goes the pit lord's mana. Did all right, decent amount of damage. Seen. Peasants looks like it's going to be a counter attack. It's got a zeppelin as well, a bit of blizzard onto the main mine. And it's going to be a the run back. He doesn't have a town attack. portal, remember, he did use that earlier to extract the three or so ghouls that were trapped up the back. So this counter attack from Simmons looks very strong. He had enough towers to make this work. Buy himself some breathing room. Taking advantage of no town portal, he looks like he might be able to get the mine. The acolytes have to come back in for repairs. Oh. And he gets it. Oh no. That is very bad news for PCG. He's going for the ziggurats after that. He loses all of his footies in the process. And uh, maybe about to lose. The Mountain King as well, we've got a Nova coming through perhaps. Okay, it does have the heal potion though. 
And a critter not really blocking him, so uh, I think you'll be able to get away the pit lord trying to run ahead. Footy now doing a bit of blocking. The player's forces are under attack. And there uh, gets away. Trading hits here with the destroyer. He wants to kill the Zeppelin, and uh, looks like he's gonna do that. Haunted gold mine under construction. But this gives Simmons a bit of time to catch up on tech. And uh, going for double workshops. He needed this. Simmons, he, he really needed this. <laughs> After those three peasant losses. More creeping. Still PCG. Good hero level advantage. Still has a stronger army as well. 15 food ahead after all this time. So instead, you know, trade away a lot of footmen to get that gold mine kill. It's going to be a town portal out. He's running away with the Mountain King though. forces are under attack. MK with the boots. He's got no mana though. Can't really do much. Doesn't have a tally staff to extract himself. If uh, he found some trouble. Picks up an invo and a tome of retraining. Dropped an ivory tower by accident there. <laughs> what? Okay, he did it. He was six slotted on the AM, so it makes a bit more sense. Is he retraining back the into water elements? Under attack. I see his skill build. A town is under siege. I didn't look uh, up here. It doesn't show on my display. It just shows on the. Uh, OBS. Yeah, he's back into water elementals. I don't see if he was. Yeah, I think I could. Oh, oh, he's gonna use them to do some creeping now. He's like coming across to harass. And uh, he's a pretty big nuke on the AM right away. Kill potion. Elemental gonna bust through that tower. Well, the rest of the undead army creeping out quite nicely. Siege. Trying to construct a scout tower, the expansion with this peasant that's not really working out too well. In fact, he's enough for one more coil. I imagine he's going to try to steal Players one of these creeps, but... Attack. Stormbolt stops that from happening. Did end up losing his footy, though, to the creeps. Easy Murloc camp with the water elementals. And uh, Pally third, no surprises there. Triple workshops, flying machines, and he's got the flying machine bombs. The Pit Lord with the Rain of Fire is so okay against flying machines if they don't micro out of the way fast enough. He's he's massing them, he's got one damage upgrade as well. Couple knights coming through now also. He's got a lot of towers, two levels of masonry as well, so that tough to break. A cheeky little creep here. At the lab on the other side of the map. Still the added hero is way ahead in our experience. Level three on the Pit Lord and Lich. The Lich actually kinda close to four. And Death Knight not too far off five. Players forces are under attack. So as is often the way, Undead with a big experience lead. And uh, still got two nice camps on this side as well. Red camp would be very difficult for Simmons to creep with what he's got in his army. So he's, yeah, he's very limited on experience, but maybe, maybe he can do it. Maybe he can do some kind of pull. It's, it's a tough camp though. A bit of holy light to keep the knight healthy. That was both as nice to get slow though, not ideal. This is making it look easier than I thought, but here comes the undead army. Staff out the knight. Not able to get the big red forces are under attack. creep for the uh, big item. 
the Wand of the Wind puts the AM up in the air and has to Town Portal out. Wow. I only took the uh, Big Turtle from over here. That's interesting. Creeping a little bit higher on experience. 5.3k versus 3.3k, so... 2k extra from PCG since he lost all of that mining time. Forces are under attack. All the flying machines hiding out the back here hasn't revealed them at all. I imagine PCG has probably scouted out the triple workshops though at some stage. Maybe with like a skeleton or something, so... It's gonna be like, what is, what is going on right now? Just the one destroyer as well. Wonder the wind, is it going to be another town portal? No. Staffs it out and then heals it so it's not stuck there. And able to move. Well done. Pally's in some trouble though. A player's forces are under attack. Getting under half. Got a lot of flying machines out the back there. A town is under siege. Pally gets staffed out, but uh, PCG knows where to find him. A lot of towers back here, though. Makes it quite painful to kill them off, at least. And on the side of the castle, though. And there we go. That's actually the level up on the lich. Two towers getting constructed down here as a necropolis coming up for PCG. A town Buying some is time for siege. Simmons to go finish off that wreck camp on the other side of the map though. So I'd say it's a reasonable trade. Depending on the item I suppose. Buy back on the pally as well. A player's forces are under attack. I'm hitting pretty hard, but it's going to go down. And it is a Helm of Valor. Hmm, that's got to be one of the worst ones he, he could have gotten there. <laughs> Still, you know, even after they increased the stats from a 4 to 5. Are under attack. It's quite a while ago now, but... Alright, well... You know, it's, it's okay on the Mountain King. He's, he's, he's a beefy old boy now. Here come the fly machines. Three damage upgrades. Is he just going to go for like a flying tank style strategy? He does, speaking of that, have two tanks in the build. PCG does not have a good answer to this. His army a player's small forces are under attack. PCG. A town is under siege. And here we go, mass flying machine bombs going for the haunted gold mine again. We got so many meat wagons back here, but not really that much to stop the mass flying machine to expecting a tank attack. But it was a flying machine attack. One knight left behind though. Whoops. It goes down, and he's actually so low on gold at the moment. He should cancel this upgrade for sure. Maybe he thinks he can just win a fight right now and win the game that way. Expansion completes, but that's under some pressure now. A player's forces are under and uh, fire machines come in for the rest of the base while the army split. Two fiends, no, three fiends coming back for the web. Four fiends, actually. But the Black Citadel is going to go down here. Okay. Town portal out. You, the Pelly, ends up going down. Oh, wow. He did go for the aura, I believe, right? Rather than divine shield? I thought that's what I saw. So it's quite a lot easier to nuke away. We 
go. Flying machine sneaking around the corner here. Going to take out a ziggurat or two. Things a little bit slow to move across here for PCG. Looks like Simmons kind of reading the damage at the moment amongst a lot of different structures. And the meat wagon's coming in for a counterattack. And they end up taking down the expansion. Didn't catch it, but the Mountain King fell. It's turning into a bit of a base race now. A little bit of repairs. This expansion did fall. Here come the tanks. We are the meat wagons. They're a little bit slow. They were on the other side of the map, so the tank's gonna get a bit of a chance here to knock out a building or two. Down that, and then the tank's gonna try to get away, but so starting up the long range mining oh only 120 gold left for Simmons this is going to be a tight one getting a mountain king from the altar meat wagons heading back across the other side of the map the fiends left back here we've got one two three four buildings a player's course across are here, attack. looking for some uh, expansion shenanigans, or maybe some long-range mining. We'll Right-click on the meat wagons. You can heal back a little bit with the unholy aura, and it is level two. Uh, you don't want your long-range peasant line just getting picked off like this. Now very slow compared to these. Unholy Aura level 2 units. Trying to hide them out the back. But the towers won't last that long. It is the meat wagons. Don't, don't think he's got any knights left the anymore. It's just siege. the heroes, right? Can they finish off a meat wagon or two? Slow this down. Here goes the long range mining again. Tries to come across, but PCG's got it covered. And he's just chipping away at the human base. A player's force he's doing is their best attack. to get away here. MK's back. Destroyer kind of A doing some scouting, looking for those human heroes. Did that tank survive? It didn't. Got one knight. But yeah, devotion aura. Okay, here we go. Fly machines coming back in. They're going for the crypt. Fiends are a little bit out of position. But here comes the rest of the army. The shredder going after the meat wagons. He's out a couple buildings. Now the fly machines getting out. Can't rebuild these. Just to be careful, the human heroes, and maybe they can knock out one meat wagon. Bit of blocking there from PCG. Oh, he's going to survive. The heroes are going to come back in, though. The undead army trying to keep these meat wagons alive. And one of them still ends up going down. The fire machines come across here. They're going for the graveyard. The human heroes coming in, knock out one fiend. He's spending all of his last resources on repairs of this graveyard. And it looks like it's going to stay up. This is not enough flying machines left anymore. Flying machines are getting picked away. Human heroes are running away. Knocks it out. Okay, there's one altar left. Now they're focusing down the destroyer, but the coil keeping that healthy. He's just losing all of his flying machines doing this. Is this him just throwing in the towel, essentially? Five pit lord level six attack. death knight. Not that that's too helpful. I suppose he could resurrect some ghouls back here, but by the time they ran to anywhere, they'd just about be timed out. Knocks out one more meat wagon. But the human try here is just so weak still. Hard to see how they fight back. Maybe if it was like AM5, Pally 3. It's just got the one building though. Oh, 
spoke too soon. He scraped enough gold together to get a haunted gold mine. I guess he cashed in a couple items. He's still got quite a few left, actually. Oh! The tanks! Where did these come from? Did they get scouted by this ghoul? He's mo he's mobilizing. Flying machines coming in. Here come the tanks. He's going for the kill. I didn't even see these tanks. A good surround on one tank. He's coming in with the heroes. The flying machines trying to take down the in-construction gold mine. Still got to finish this gold mine off. The tanks. Move the tanks across to finish the gold mine. Where are you going with this tank? Where are you going with that tank? The flying machine's doing their best, but it's not enough. What did... Oh, here comes the tank now. The haunted gold mine. One more hit from the tank. And that's it. Simmons wins. Oh my god. I... I... I didn't see the tanks. I just didn't see them. And I guess PCG didn't see them either. Wow. <laughs> It wasn't pretty from Simmons, uh, you know, a few mistakes. Maybe that's why we uh, haven't seen him before, but the macro decisions there. Mass flying machines from Triple Workshop. PCG thought it was going to be tanks. He built four meat wagons, but it wasn't tanks. And the flying machines doing massive economic damage, able to scrape a win through there. Well done, Simmons. Well, anyway, guys, we're right from that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.